What's up everyone, Tay here. So I put Phase 4 in the title of this video so people would know what the hell the video was about, but that might not be entirely accurate as Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige and Guardians director James Gunn have both been very open recently about the idea that Marvel may not go the route of numbered phases after the Avengers Infinity Saga, but rather start down the path of the new Marvel Cosmic Universe. Like in the future, the Cosmic Universe, Cosmic Universe, Okay, and those are just a few of the comments Feige and Gunn have recently made on the future cosmic MCU. And of course there will continue to be Earth-based Marvel films, but let's use the DeFranco descriptive and jump into it and we'll talk about the Earth and cosmic stuff as we go. Now, MCU phases 2 and 3 cover 3 year periods, so the films in this list will cover what we could see from late 2019 to late 2020, 2023. So let's start with the obvious films and sequels we are very likely to see in that time. Okay, so we've gotten verbal confirmation from Marvel Studios that we will get a sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming in late 2019. We've also recently gotten confirmation that James Gunn will be returning to write and direct Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and that will most likely come out in summer 2020. The other likely movies we will get are sequels to Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and a third Ant-Man film. I would also wager we'll most likely get a fifth Avengers movie, as that's been the constant staple of the MCU. We always get an Avengers film in every phase so far, and we're actually getting two Avengers films in phase three. Um, it's difficult to know what it will look like and who the cast of main characters will be. It could be some form of the Cosmic Avengers, Secret Avengers, New Avengers, Avengers Illuminati, etc. But the Avengers franchise and name is too valuable to give up after Infinity War and Avengers 4. It's basically the glue of the MCU. Then the not-so-obvious sequels we don't know for sure if we will see or not because of actors' contracts being up after Avengers 4 would be a fourth Thor movie, a fourth Captain America, and a fourth Iron Man movie. But I will come back to that in a minute. Now, another rumor that's been going around is that the Thunderbolts will be showing up in the next phase of the MCU. And I would love to see them appear in an Avengers or Captain America Civil War style team versus team throwdown. But let's move on to the cosmic side of things. We know Guardians Volume 3 is coming and that Marvel Studios is expanding into the Marvel Cosmic Universe. Cosmic Universe. But besides Guardians Volume 3, we don't know for sure what other cosmic MCU films are coming. But we can make an educated guess from Easter eggs, characters, and locations we've seen in recent MCU films. Like we just saw the original comic book Guardians, including Stakar, Martin X, Aletta, etc., as Ravagers in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and James Gunn, who will also be overseeing the production of various films in the future cosmic universe along with Kevin Feige, said they have plans for Stakar and the Ravagers to appear again in upcoming Marvel movies. So it's likely they will show up in Guardians Volume 3, but Marvel Studios could also be laying the groundwork for a Guardians 3000 movie down the line as well. But hopefully they don't take too long though, because Sylvester Stallone is literally not lying 70 years old. Another new character and franchise we could see introduced in the Cosmic MCU is Nova. Marvel Studios already incorporated the Nova Core on Xandar in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and the Power Stone, aka the Orb, is currently stored in the Nova Core vault on Xandar, so it's possible we could see Thanos and or the Black Order pay them a visit in Infinity War to retrieve said stone. And with the future expansion of the Marvel Cosmos, a Nova movie just seems to make sense. And the last new cosmic movie I think we could see in the next phase of the MCU is The Eternals, which would be so sick. And a little backstory real quick, The Eternals have a long history in the Marvel comics, and their origin story has been told more than once and in more than one way. So it can be a little convoluted. But to simplify it, the Eternals along with the Deviants were created by the Celestials as an evolutionary offshoot of humanity. 
Basically, they are part human, part celestial, which is a little similar to what James Gunn did with Peter Quill in Guardians Volume 2, where his mother Meredith is human and his father Ego is a celestial. And it's also different in the comics because the first Eternals were the result of celestial experimentation. And they originated on Earth, but a faction of them later colonized Saturn's moon of Titan, which if they did do a film, Titan would likely be lo the location the movie starts with. And we have seen Celestials in the MCU, but we have yet to see any signs of the Eternals. Well, I, actually, let me back up. In the Infinity comic series, they explain Thanos' heritage, uh, that he was born on Titan as an eternal child born with a mutated deviant gene. But we don't know for sure if they will go that route with the same origin in the movies. But there are rumors and rumblings that Thanos will have an army of deviants in Infinity War and that we could see the Eternals in Thor Ragnarok. And with planet Sakaar being the dumping ground of the universe, I wouldn't be surprised if they used that opportunity to easter egg in some different species from the Marvel Universe onto planet Sakaar, including the Eternals, which would be badass. Okay, so let's recap. There were 10 movies in Phase 3, so I think it's fair to assume Marvel Studios isn't planning on taking a step back, and there will be about 10 movies in this next phase. I have 13 movies on this list though, so they probably aren't all going to make it. Out of Iron Man 4, Captain America 4, and Thor 4, we might see one or two of those, but probably not all three. So let's just scratch those off the list for now. And we've been talking about how Marvel Studios is expanding into the Marvel Cosmic Universe, but they will obviously still have the Earth-based films. And there will probably be a few that cross over into Earth and Cosmic territory. So with that, we have this new list. Now, some of these could be miscategorized. Like, I don't know for sure if the 5th Avengers film will cross over into cosmic territory like Avengers, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers 4. Then there's Doctor Strange 2, which will likely be an Earth-based movie that will probably cross over into other dimensions, but not necessarily space. Then there's a third Ant-Man movie, which you would probably think of as an Earth-based movie, but could go into the microverse, which is technically another dimension as well. So, but we'll see what happens. This is, a lot of this is speculation. It's educated speculation, but uh, that's kind of what I do on this channel. I give you guys news and info followed up with speculation. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, what movies you would like to see in the next phase of the MCU, and what movies you think we'll see in the next phase of the MCU after the Infinity Saga. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and check it out. It's lots of Marvel videos, we talk about The Flash, I'm going to be talking about Game of Thrones when it gets closer to the Season 7 premiere, and just comic book entertainment in general. So thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I will be back soon with some Defenders and Marvel TV talk. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you guys soon.